This is the Polaroid One Step Close Up, and I just got two of these things for $8 at a local flea market. Are they any good? Today we're gonna find out. Lil, do I need another camera? Heck no. Do I have too many cameras? Yeah. <laughs> That is my niece, Lily, and she is not wrong. I probably have one too many cameras. But recently I was at a flea market with my sister, Emily, and Lily, and we saw two Polaroid close-up cameras for under $10. We had to pick them up. I thought the idea of having two matching cameras with my niece would be an awesome idea. Can I see your camera? Right Yo. As soon as we left the flea market, we headed to Walmart to try pick up some film. It turns out that they still make film for these old school Polaroid cameras. We went to the camera accessory section where you can find the new Polaroid Go cameras. And that's where we found our film. These vintage Polaroid cameras take the color 600 film. Don't buy the color EyeSight film because it's not compatible with these. It's only compatible with the newer models. We were super excited that they still make film for these. The funniest part about the film is that it costs more than double what two of these cameras cost. For around $20, you'll get eight exposures. You do not change. Once we got in the car, we opened up the box and we couldn't wait to see what was inside. <laughs> what color is that? Rainbow! Rainbow. It says, working class heroes. I'm not quite sure what that means, but... <laughs> Loading the close-up is really easy. You just open up the front door, pop in your film cartridge, and you're ready to go. Hold you can out. discard this first one because it just protects your film from light. Once you're ready to shoot, open up the top part of the camera and look for a green light. That means it's good and ready to go. The counter on your camera will say 10, but you actually only have eight exposures. One, two, three. Oh. Okay, pull it out, Will. Just touch the light. And that's it. These older exposures take about 10 to 20 minutes to fully expose. We took this first photo on the two to four foot setting and we were really happy with the results. The photo was sharp and it gave that really cool vintage aesthetic look. Now it was Lil's turn. So like Uncle Will. Yeah. So like I want you to be like sitting right here. So look through that hole first and make sure he's all in it. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> The fact that a five-year-old can take a photo with a Polaroid says a lot about this camera. It's super simple to use. You basically load your film, compose, and snap your photo. That's it. When we got home, my sister wanted to try it out as well. My dad and I posed in full sunlight on the four-foot setting. In full sunlight, the close-up takes high contrast photos with muted tones. Vibrant colors turn pastel and they feel like something out of the 1980s. So now that we knew how to shoot the Polaroid close-up, it was time to take it to a cool location. And what better vintage spot than a skating rink? My dad and I took Lily to a local rink and she couldn't contain her excitement. I was pretty excited too, to be honest. We picked up our skates and laced them up. Thank you. It was Lily's first time and the place was packed. As soon as my dad got her skates on, it was time to hit the rink. The next strap that comes with the Polaroid close-up works great. The camera is heavy though and you'll feel a little bit of stress around your neck. Once we found a cool background, it was time to take a shot. The flash is really bright and helps illuminate your subjects. Low light situations like skating rinks really lend itself to this type of photography. While I took a lap around the skating rink, Lil tried skating by herself. There was definitely a learning curve, so my dad jumped in and helped her out. Push forward, don't watch your feet. The two of them had an awesome time. Because you only have eight exposures with a Polaroid, I really suggest while shooting that you choose a really cool location and create a series of photos. 
I tried to think of each exposure as a scene from a movie, each with its own unique composition and just a piece to the larger story. After a while, Lily really started finding her legs. You got it, Lil! Hey! I didn't know you were skating! Oh. So, would I recommend the Polaroid close-up camera? Absolutely. <laughs> For a camera that costs under $5 and is over 30 years old, it's really a great deal. <laughs> While I definitely won't be shooting the close-up every day, it's a really fun camera for a special moment. While these older vintage models aren't as reliable as the newer Polaroid Go cameras, I would recommend them for anyone that's looking for a vintage feel. If you can pick one up cheap, I would get it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.